Everybody have a Bible? Amen. This is a good message. I think it is when the Lord gave it to me this morning. Maybe I should wait. Let's see what you say. <laughs> Praise God. I think we're going to learn something really valuable today. Um, we're going to talk about a word that is used in the Bible. I'm going to kind of wait until everybody's settled. Now, the Bible is pretty big, right? I think it is. Um, but this word, narrow, is used in the Bible eight times. So, knowing what we do about the number eight, why would you think God would put the word narrow in the Bible eight times? That's Jesus, because Jesus, the number of Jesus is 888, which 8 is a new beginning. Seven days in a week, the eighth day is a new beginning. So, I, I thought it was remarkable that God would only use this particular word in the Bible eight times. Um, I can't write it on the board right now for you, but the Hebrew numerical uh, value of the word narrow is 726, which is the same numerical value for the word Messiah, Jesus Christ. So God is making it very important that we understand that Jesus is the narrow way. There are many different religions in the world. They do not all lead to heaven. You understand? If God gives you directions to his house, then the directions are precise. If you told me to come to your house, you would give me directions. Now, if you say, Sandy, go to Manchester, make a right, then turn on 85th Street, and I say, no, I'm going to go to Main Street and make a left. I'm not going to go to Manchester. I'm going to then I'm going to head north. And you're going to say, Sandy, I live south. Then I would say, well, all roads lead to your house, right? And you're going to say, that's crazy, Sandy. You're going to be lost, right? Because God is trying to say, all roads don't lead to my house. I'm going to give you directions. And the, re the direction is narrow. Narrow is written in the Bible eight times to let you know that the narrow way to, to God's house is Jesus Christ. Now the world can offer you many different directions, okay? We're going to talk about some of those today, but um, I want you to uh, go to the book of Numbers. This is one of the times that this word narrow is used in the Bible. And this is where we get to two words from narrow, uh, prophesying that Jesus would be the narrow way. You're in the book of Numbers? Amen. Chapter 22. I'm going to wait till you get there. Amen. And I'm going to start reading um, at chapter 21. Now, it says, Balaam got up in the morning and saddled his donkey and went with the prince of Moab. God was very angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood. Now, yours may say in the road, but um, the, I can't pronounce it well, uh, the word in Hebrew right now, but... Um, the word used there is not just the road. The Lord didn't stand He stood in the narrow road, okay? So it says, uh, but God was very angry when he went 
And the angel of the Lord stood in the narrow road to oppose him. Balaam was riding on the donkey, um, and his two servants were with him. When the donkeys saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, he turned off the road into the field. Um, and it says, uh, Balaam beat her uh, to get her to get back on the road. Now, this is what's going on here. Balaam has been asked by the king to come and curse the people of Israel. Okay? God tells him, first of all, don't go. In the Hebrew word, don't go, meaning don't go with the same sinful attitude um, as these people are going. They're going to curse Israel. So he goes back and he asks God, and God says, it's okay for you to go. So God tells him, go ahead and go, but he uses a different word. You can go, but you can't go with the same sinful attitude as the people are going with. Okay? I'll give you an example. Me and you go to the store. Okay? Lupe? Did I pronounce it right there? Lupe. Okay, Lupe. Lupe. <laughs> okay, we go to the store together. Okay? I just asked you to give me a ride to the store. We get to the store. You hear the alarm go off, and I'm running out with a gun and a bag of money. Did you go with me? No. But you were with me. You understand the difference? Okay, so the difference is this. You can go with somebody, or you can be with somebody. Now, if, you, if we were just together, but your mindset was not on sin, then it was fine for you to be there. You're innocent. Right. But if you went with the same mindset as I went, then that means now you're in sin too. Right. Okay, so this is what he's telling ba Balaam. He said, you can go, but don't go with that mindset. Don't go with sin on your mind. Now, Balaam is walking, and he knows God, and he's walking on this path, and the path is very narrow. Okay? Now, this is why, let's, um, let's read it again here. So now he says, um, in verse 26, it says, The angel of the Lord uh, moved on ahead and stood in the narrow place where there was no room to turn, either to the right or to the left. Okay? And it says, When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down under Balaam, and he was angry and beat her with the staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and she said to Balaam, I guess it was a girl donkey, said, uh, I'll get a girl or boy, says, uh, what have I done, this is what the donkey said, what have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam doesn't scream and run, which is what I would have did, because the donkey just talked. Balaam answers the donkey, so he's crazy anyway, right? So, he says, you have made a fool out of me. If I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, am I your own donkey? Now the donkey's reasoning with it. I'm like, look, I got more sense than you. He says, which, he says, which you have always been to this day. It says, have I been uh, in the habit of doing this to you? And Balaam goes, no. So the donkeys kind of talk common sense at all. And Balaam's in there talking, which tells me that he's crazy. Now, <laughs> understand this. The road is narrow. God is opposed to him going and to where he's going, not because of the fact that he's going, is because of the fact of his mindset of why he's going. You understand? So, on this narrow road, the Lord is letting you know there's no room for sin on this road. You understand? The road that God has put us on, there's no room for sin on this road. If you come into Christ and you begin to start sinning, God will set an obstacle in your way because he knows that this road leads to eternal life 
and with, your, with sin on your heart and the sin in your mind, you can't walk this path. Amen. 